YouTube, what's going on? Mike here, I got another video. YouTube, what's going on? Mike here, got another video for you guys. Uh, man, it's cold today. You <laughs> see, I got the hoodie on. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing good. I'm um, having a great week. Um, didn't want to make, I always say I don't want to make the videos too long, but they always end up coming out how they come out, so it is what it is. Oh man. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was five things or five qualities or traits you need in a plastic bag. So, um, I'm going to rate this as to me what's the most important personality. Personality is number one thing you need to me in appliance repair. Um, ah, everybody doesn't have it, but a lot of people need it. And a lot of people do have it, but a lot of people don't know how to use it. And I feel like um, over the over the time of you doing this, it will definitely um, come to you more naturally how to deal with customers, how to de-escalate situations, how to um, just be a better technician. Um, number two, number two is professionalism. Um, you got to be professional, you know, um, make sure you have your cards, your anything that make sure you to identify you, especially when you're going into these people's homes. Some people have, uh, you can make your own, uh, what is it? Identification card. I think it's on Amazon. You can go make one and just identify you if you want one of those. Or, you know, some, some people don't have their sh name on their shirts, just their company name. It doesn't matter, just as long as you have your company name and people kind of identify you when you're going into their home. So, professionalism is, you know, diverse, it's, it's wanted. Now, I'm just saying all these things that's important to me, you know, it can be different for you, you know? So, uh, number three, uh, flexibility and adaptability. They, they go hand in hand. Um, you just got to be able to adapt to certain situations and know what's going on or know what, how to get yourself out of certain situations. So my whole thing is this. Why I say that is because um, for especially for guys who are pre-diagnosing and I get this a lot when people ask me questions. That's why it just keeps coming to my head. Um, you know, you'll try to figure out what the problem is before you actually get to that, you know, get to the job. And it's good to have all the information you need as far as uh, how, what, the, what possibly could be the problem. But until you get there and the customer explains to you what it is or you see, physically see what it is, then I wouldn't rack your brain on it too much until you get there. Get there. Don't, you know, don't kill yourself, basically. You know, make it simple as possible. That's the best way I can explain it to people. Even though how these machines work, people will explain it to you in this complicated way where you can just make it simple as possible. So, number four, um, technical ability. Uh, why I have it so high up? Because um, when you don't have those first three things, uh, your tech. Your technical ability can't shine as, as much as it should because you can't get to without having those first three things you can't get to the maximum amount of customers you'll be able to get to so meaning that you won't be able to see as much as you need to see out there to further uh, give you experience you need to be great that's the best way I can I can put it and um, yeah you need that technical ability I guess number five to me would be um, basically using your brain. <laughs> I mean, that's to sum everything all up. Uh, you gotta use you gotta use your brain sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the best way I can put it because there's a lot of people out here that will just go on the internet to try to find their answer. Sometimes the answer is not there, you know, or sometimes, a lot of times it might be, you know, especially if you need technical information or you just run into an issue that there's no documentation on or maybe the unit is too old. I don't know what it may be. For the majority of the most part, anytime I've searched for something online and I 
I didn't find the exact situ the exact issue, it, it, it brought me closer to the issue where I can, all right, this is what I need to know. You know, and this is what I need to do. People driving, man. Uh, so, uh, that's pretty much what, to me, you know what I'm saying? The, everybody's could be different. You can have it in a different order. But from my experience out here and seeing um, how I'm able to get consistent work, even with COD, without advertising, it's just um, we're a lot of word of mouth. I get a lot of word of mouth because I do great work and people like me. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make people like you. If people like you, they're gonna call you back for anything. You know, pretty much, even if they need. Hey Mike, you know anybody that does plumbing? Hey Mike, you know just because they just they like your inner, they like how they interacted with you, they like your energy that you let off. So it's just like um, if any of you guys were in the sales world, you know, you probably heard this before when you're selling um, a product. You know, you sell yourself first usually, and then or a lot of times, depending on what product you're selling, some products sell yourself. You don't have to do much, but as long as the person likes you, you probably have a guaranteed sale. But, um, and honestly, that was just off the top of my head. I didn't write this down. I didn't do anything like that. I never really do. I just turn on the camera and let it go. Uh, and, but those are the things that just off the top of my head. And I, if I had to sit down and actually write it down and think about it, maybe I would have it in a better format. Maybe my number five would be just a little better, you know, <laughs> but uh, you guys get the idea. Um, I've made several videos over this last almost two years being on YouTube doing, a, I'm talking about appliance repair. And um, shout out to all the people who still, you know, watch my videos and all the new people who are watching it and getting into appliance repair. Um, there's a lot of videos out here on it now, opposed to when I first started on YouTube. There were, there wasn't hardly enough, I would say. Now there's a lot. Now there's a lot of people sharing their experience and what they, um, how they came up or how they started. Uh, what I want to do eventually, and there's a thing why I haven't done it, is doing, um, and I think I have shown some parts that I keep in my van, but there's a lot of parts that are going to be different from the area that you work in than the area I work in. You trying to, you know, that's why I never tell anybody about part stock because you're going to see different things in your area compared to what I see in my area. You know, so just like about the seal system and compressors, why I don't do it that much. I mean, the last seal system I saw was mm, maybe two months ago that had an issue, you know, so it's just not that prevalent in my area or I just don't get those calls. You know, if I was to get those calls and I was just losing so much money where I'm like, I need to do a seal system, then I would get back into doing it, you know. It's um, not that hard, especially when you've done so much. It's repetitive, you know, repetitive. That's why um, I love doing everything else because I'm getting something new every day. Um, also, it's February. Welcome to the slow month. Um, this is probably the slowest month out of the year. I'm not saying for everybody, but, you know, for majority of the guys that I talk to, February is slow for them. So, I mean, today I got five calls. Yesterday, I only had one. But uh, Mondays, like I said, I always try to make it light. So, I only set up one call for, for Monday. And um, did paperwork, got my parts all uh, situated. Got five today. Got, um, I think I have five or six tomorrow as well. Thursday, I think not, probably have four or five, not so much. And Friday, I'm taking a half day. So, it all depends on um, how you want to schedule it. I still work weekends on Saturdays, only half days, but this Saturday I'm not going to be working. So, um, doing some things to my, um, like I told you, with my website. Actually, that just got hacked the other day and I had to block out the account and had to do a whole bunch of things. Luckily, um, they didn't uh, mess up anything on my website. It was just, we just couldn't get into it. I was still getting online appointments though, <laughs> and they were sending them, you know, when I get an online appointment, they send it to our email, so we automatically respond to those customers through, e through the email. So, technically, we didn't really need the website to get those people confirmed, because uh, when people set up an appointment, we send a confirmation back, 
that's just is what it is. Yesterday I had to uh, tell my, uh, my CSR, my wife, that uh, not only can certain CODs, I'll just get a COD call and I'll look at the customer name and they'll say dryer. No description on what it is. And I tell her, I'm like, yo, what's going on? She's like, I know you can fix it, it's fine. And it's like, yeah, I can, but I would still like to have a heads up of what the issue was. I mean, when I got there, it ended up being a bearing stack. It was a stack unit, so I didn't know it was a stack unit at first. And then it was, I didn't know it was making noise, so it ended up being a bearing. So I had to take the whole thing apart and end up fixing it because I have parts on the truck for them. But, you know, it's good to know, you know. I'm glad you have that much faith in me. It definitely feels great, but, you know, <laughs> don't let, let make my day easier, you know. So I just want to say, you know, even us experienced tech, techs are not immune to to getting jammed up on jobs. It just happens, you know. You run into something that's uh, complicated. Not that I've rarely have to call for help. Like I said, I got a little uh, group I, I hit up guys, but you know, we more or less talk about other stuff than actually technical stuff. But you know, we do when we need to. And um, if we run into something that's just you can't find the information, because I'm always an advocate of trying to find the information yourself before you reach out to somebody. So I feel like if people ask me a question, let that be the last resort before you know you actually ask me. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll be some question that I'm just like you can actually Google this and find the answer. But you know, maybe just people want to reach out to me, or it's easier for them, or they just didn't know how to search for it. Google is your best friend. You know, I'm gonna put five things you need for appliance repair, but also Google is your best friend. Nine times out of ten, if you're on a job and you need help, go to Google and type in your situation. You know, that'll get you closer to where you need to be. Because sometimes you're on a job and you can't wait for if you're with a group and you can't wait for that answer, you know, and you need it right now. Go on Google. That's the best thing I can tell you. I worked for a company so long and I didn't have any technical support for you know because this is after you know the tech line and all that I, I was years experience and it's like all right it's not really say i need i just need to be pointed in the right direction and google has pointed me in the right direction more than i can count like so some people say oh that's not good that's not no it's good to have a clientology it's good to have all these other platforms where you can get help but if you need it instantly, that's the best thing I can I can tell you, you know? Um, even with error codes that pop up and you don't have the tech sheet, or the tech sheet is not available to you, or you didn't have the, the, the model number previously, Google. Type in that situation, type in the actual appliance, the error code, nine times out of 10, you'll get, you'll get, basically, it'll point you in the right direction. You might not have the exact, issue or what's the uh, resistance or the ohms for the, the for the component you need to test but it'll put you in the right direction so don't give up just <laughs> you know don't say oh I, I don't know what to do or I can't no where there's a will there's a way just like when I started my business um, a lot of this information I needed wasn't on the internet you know so I, I had to find it well, it was on the internet let's just say that but it wasn't I had to look for you know, there wasn't anybody I can just ask, say, hey, what I need to do this, what I need to do that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is my mindset is I'm going to do whatever I need to do first before I, I ask anybody anything. Because I'm just that type of person. I don't like to ask some, somebody something if I can find the information myself. But I'm not trying to deter anybody from asking me a question. Just, you know, do the due diligence of looking up what you need to look up first. And if you can't find it, then ask me. But a lot of times, you know, I try to tell people, I don't know everything, you know? And I will help, and if I'm not answering your question in the right way, I can only answer it the way that I feel like it's best for me to answer, you know? So, but um, other than that, uh, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably gonna make a video on some of the parts that I do carry that are stopped. You know, like Samsung Elements, IOP, 
lot of the builders use GE. So I tend to keep a lot more GE parts than any other brand because I run into them, you know, a little more. So it might not be like that for you in your area. So you just gotta take into account that account. So I'm um, sorry about the, the video if it's not, you know, I just kind of just thought about this this morning when I was <laughs> when I hopped in the van, you know. I always like to give people a piece of my mind and what I'm thinking sometimes. And um, um, it's funny because I'm doing this appliance repair, there's new people coming in all the time, and me, I'm just trying to find a way, I'm trying to find other ways to make money, you know? And um, I know eventually uh, I'm gonna have this business self-sufficient, meaning I'm not gonna be running any calls, I'm gonna have somebody else answering the phones. I, eventually, that's the goal. You know, and I, and honestly, that came to me this year, January 2021, where I wanted to do that because I have other things I want to do in life outside of appliance repair. Um, so, but I, I I can't I can say this skill and this ability has brought me far, and it makes things that were impossible possible. So once you get good at it and you do it the best of your ability, the sky's the limit. You know. Anyway, uh, I'm about to get to work. You guys have a great day. I'll be back with another one.